Okay, good morning everyone. So real quickly, um, I came in my suite and it's pretty clean, but I noticed there's like a lot of like hair everywhere. So my first client doesn't come until 8.30 and it's 7.45 I believe. Um, I always get here like an hour to like 45 minutes early. So what I'm gonna do is just unplug everything and then I'm going to sweep and then I'm going to um, wipe my floor down. I'm gonna use like a little mop swiffer type situation. Um, just because I don't like when things are dirty and nobody's here. It's Thursday, nobody's here, which is kind of weird. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm just gonna move everything in the hallway. Sorry, that was so rude that I just cut this off mid voiceover and my AirPod just fell on my ear. Like, what's going on? So, welcome back, everyone. It's your girl, Cassandra Olivia. It is 6.05 in the morning, so I do apologize if I sound a little manly-ish, but your girl just woke up and decided to do her voiceover. The only thing that's in here is this, the vacuum, my dryer, which is on top of a, uh, what is this, a step stool. And then I have this that I can just push out to the hallway. This I'm just gonna go underneath because it's heavy as shit, but this I can take out. So I'm just gonna be popping in and out doing this voiceover and then letting some of the natural audio play from this video. I just didn't wanna be demonetized and I realized that in some parts of the video you could not hear me speaking, but I did wanna show you guys how I come in and sanitize my suite. Um, this is very important to me. Even before COVID, you guys saw I had a salon cleaning video. When I tell you I'm super picky about salons and suites and just places of business being clean, that is like one of the first impressions you can make on people. So it's super important. So me, because I have this bougie room that I actually customize myself, and I will be showing you guys the before and after once my chair gets here this weekend, finally after a six and a half month wait. Jesus. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how I keep my suite clean. As you can see, I have really light floors and I have really light pink walls. So I have to make sure that I am super, super anal and super clean when it comes to making sure my suite is nice. So I try to make sure I wipe everything down. I like to make sure the walls are clean. When I do color, I like to put down like plastic and um, different things to protect my floor. Just because I want my room to look nice, I spent a lot of money decorating my suite, personalizing it to my style. And I just want it to look nice for each and every individual client. I don't want it to look nice on Instagram and then when you get in there, it's like this is a completely different room. So my room is always Insta ready and it's because it's nice and I want to make sure that my clients can take selfies and when they come in, they just feel beautiful and they feel like, okay, this girl is serious about her job, so let's get it done. So yeah, I take pride in my career and my job and I really do love what I do. And I just try to make sure that me as a stylist personally, I go above and beyond when it comes to cleanliness. So in this clip here, I'm just showing you guys, I'm using my vacuum that I have in the corner, this little white contraption. I always link this down in my videos and I always link it on my Amazon store. But I like to do this in between clients, Taylor, my lash girl slash friend who also works with me in this suite, in a different suite. She recommended that I get this. It has been a complete lifesaver. Anytime I have to sweep hair up, I literally just sweep it in front of this little contraption. The eye sees motion and it sucks everything up in front of it. And this thing holds a lot of hair. The only thing is it does make quite a bit of noise, but I always do this when either nobody's here or at the end of the day, or if I'm doing it in between clients, I just make sure to close my sweet door and it's not that loud, but just be mindful. It is one of those things that I wish it was a little bit more quiet, but it gets the job done. So, hey, I'm not complaining. So I'm just about finished sweeping up. I do sweep a lot and I try to make sure that I go over the same areas, my rug, behind my mirror, everything. Don't want to leave anything out. And then I'm just going to take the vacuum out and now I'm just going to spray the floor with this bonnet cleaner that I found on Amazon. This is my first time using it when I moved to my suite, but I saw it was like all natural and good for the floor and I clicked it because it was in my Amazon cart, whatever. So I'm just going to spray this on the floor, clean the floor. I did cut the dryer on. The reason being, sometimes this stuff takes a minute to dry. I don't put a lot of it on, but because it is colder outside, you want to just make sure that you have something that will help the room heat up. I knew my client was coming in about 30 minutes, so I just cut the dryer on. And then when I was done sleeping or mopping, I walked out of the room. I shut the door for about 10 minutes. And then when I came back in, I just walked on the floor. It was completely dry. And I'll show you guys that when I'm done. So yeah. My suite, like I said, was already pretty clean. I'm just going in and just paying attention to the little details. Like, the devil is really in the details, guys.
that's why I smoke, boy. Okay, so now it's been about 10 minutes. I just had to make sure the floor is dry because I don't want to walk on it and have like footprints. So I'm gonna just move this back just a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna start placing everything back just because I wanna um, make sure I'm ready for my client. She's not gonna be here for another 25 minutes, but I just wanna make sure everything is like ready to go. I'm stepping and as you can see, no footprints. Okay, so we're dry. I'm gonna stick everything back nice and neat. And I know I already mentioned it previously, but I know somebody's gonna ask me again. So I'm gonna link everything down below that I purchased. This pink chair I actually got off of Amazon. It did come with gold legs and I just spray painted the legs silver to match my suite. Um, a couple of the things in here I got off of Amazon, some things off of Overstock, Wayfair, Impressions, Vanity, Standard Salon. Like there's a couple different places, but I will link mostly everything I can down below. So that way you guys can know exactly where I got my stuff at. Cause I know somebody's gonna ask. So I got you covered. Make sure you check that description box. So now I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna have to plug in my steamer. I am gonna refill it with some water and then wipe everything down with Clorox wipes just to make sure everything is nice and clean. So what I'm going to do, because I know she'll be here any minute, I'm just going to cut my music on and set the ambiance for my room. I like to go to my light switch. I will dim the lights all the way down. I will plug in my name sign, which is right here. Make sure we got that in there. So that's up there like so. It's super bright. So that's my name sign. It looks super bright on camera, but I promise you it's not. It's just this damn iPhone. I'm gonna cut on my baby. I like to hook it to my salon station. But today I put on Pandora, why not? Um, and let's change it from Megan to Summer Walker. All right, and then I'm going to light my candles. Y'all already know I had to cut the audio off because I am not trying to get demonetized for this video. YouTube be drawing. So I'm playing my Summer Walker. I'm just lighting my candles. I did get these from Bath & Body Works. Or is it Bath & Body Works? Yeah, I did. And I have the Champagne Toast and Vanilla Bean. If you have not, light these two candles together. They smell amazing together. So that when they walk in, it gives you this type of vibe right here. Very like intimate and like sensual. I have the soft music playing, the candles lit, the lighting. It's very relaxing and then it's super clean. So now to add an extra step, I'm always ready when the client comes. I'm just gonna get my mask ready. My client is early, which is awesome because I'm ready for her. And I'm just going to go grab her real quick. Be right back, guys. Be right back. Come on, hey, my love. Thank you. I'll take care of you. You can sit anywhere. It's just you. So if you want to sit this up here, this chair is Okay, you're nice and comfortable. 
much. I was just recording me uh, cleaning up, doing my oh. little sanitation routine. Gotcha. <sighs> you like it better already? Yes, girl. Hell yes. Absolutely. Let me turn this. So once my client came in, obviously I stopped recording because I wanted to get to work. So this is after I was finished my first two clients. I did have a three hour gap, so I decided to go to Cosmoprof. Hi. Hi, long time no see. I'm good, how are you? Good. So this is Cosmoprof where I get all of my hair products. I figured I'd bring you guys along with me because I like to come in here a lot and I never record just because it's always like tons of hairstylists and people trying to help you and I like the staff so we like to talk but I just wanted to show you guys what I was grabbing I did have a couple of hair color transformations and a relaxer to do this week so I just like to re-up on my color I don't like to wait until I run out or until I'm on the last thing I like to make sure I have plenty of every product because you never know what might walk in the door and also you might need more product one day than you think you need and it's terrible when you are out of something and you cannot get your hands on something when you're in the middle of doing a hair color so I'm just showing you guys what I'm grabbing to do this hair color. This is the color inspiration that we used. And then I will actually be doing an, a video right after this showing you guys my clients whose hair I've colored. So this is me just in the store looking for some caps and they were gone. So now I'm in the Framar section. As you guys know, I am on the Framar PR list. So I had to show them some love. And this is the blow dry that I always use because you guys are always asking me. I use a Rust Be Freak. The reason why I like to buy everything from Cosmoprof is because everything is discounted for licensed stylists. So these are just my finishing sprays. I'm just grabbing these. I don't even need them, but I'm grabbing the Bio Silk Shino and the Bio Silk Natural Hold. It was hiding behind this first one, and I'm pretty much ready to check out. Like, I only came in here to spend, I think, $30, and I ended up sp spending way more than that. I only came in here to grab, like, four hair colors, but every time I come in here, I end up just grabbing everything because it's like, I'm here, and I don't feel like coming back, and I know eventually I'm going to need some stuff. I just grabbed two of these too. Me realizing I spent way more than $30. <laughs> All right. Do you want to sign up for the store credit card? Uh-uh. All right. Paying everything cash. <laughs> gotcha. And then I just hit no for this. Okay. Yeah, I didn't take that. That's what they said to me last week. They were like, oh, well, you have your coat and your shoes. We'll take four pounds off that. You know, my grandmother Thank you so much. All right, can you take care of yourself? You too. All right. Alrighty guys, well that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to attach pictures of Jordan. She has been to me previously and I will attach her previous hair video down below. We're going to take her from one extreme to the next. We're going to do a color and a haircut. I can't wait for you guys to see this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not hit, forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Everybody have a great and wonderful Friday. Bye.